Here's an example of successful independent online retailers taking places within retail environments effectively on the high street. So bucking the trend, I think it's a great thing. Meet Guy Bolton from Investing in Time, who's just taken a spot within the brand new Antiques on High Antique Centre number no. five in Harrogate. Oh, look at you guys, surrounded by watches. You're looking very happy. Yes, certainly I'm David. We're Good to see you. Here, Montpellier Antiques Centre. Good to see you as well. Now, you were here some years ago. We were you? here some years ago, so it's nice to be back. Yeah, yes. OK. Show me what you've brought in. We've got a nice uh, a nice range of, obviously, vintage watches. Yeah. Pocket watches, purse watches. Um, stuff that you can see online, but it's nice to, obviously, physically handle them and uh, have this... Uh, opportunity to uh, display them really yeah because i mean you've been trading online purely really for years haven't Many you years, yes yeah and we've had cabinets about obviously through lockdown we uh, we shut them down so it's nice to be back you know back uh, back in the game really but in a way i think this is really interesting because you can't you're kind of breaking the mold because most people are moving out the high street out of retail shops and going purely online yeah. and you've done that for a long time and you you're very successful with your top end watches yeah but you're going back into the public face-to-face -face yeah, well, dealing. I like that. Yeah, still, obviously, there's a, a big demand for vintage watches. As yeah. you can see, it's huge. It's gone from strength to strength. So it's just That's nice to, um, to be able to display them and yeah. show them to the public, especially in my hometown, Harrogate. Oh, I mean, I must say, it is. I mean, it is wonderful here. Let's have a quick pan around for the viewers. Yes. At home. Oh, we, you'll all recognise him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he hates the camera, Vincent, yeah. don't you, Vince? Hey. <laughs> You'll hear him laughing in the background. Yeah, too true. <laughs> this is Vincent's fifth antique centre. Yeah, he's doing very well. And this is one of the reasons why we, we came here, because obviously his reputation. And yeah. I think he's just going to give it that, uh, you know, that new um, pizzazz, really. He does. He gives it va va voom, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So OK, show, me, show me a feel. couple of your favourites. So we've got everything from 50s, uh, early as 40s, up to 70s and 80s yeah um, you know we've got military you know this is this is a lovely sort of 70s very unusual rectangular oh. Amiga Ooh, let's have a look gold at that. cat it's a good looking thing isn't box it? and papers so you know just offering something a little bit different now what's the importance with box and papers it's, it's provenance but uh, you know to get something with box and papers these days is that we call it a full set yeah. as we spoke before it's uh, it's quite unusual because they just used to be dis disregarded yeah you know as soon as the warranty ran out why would you need it and then that's the boxes right. you know that's been a you know plastic box that you wouldn't see many sort of last the the time frame time so, so it's, it's a bit like the toy market isn't it, it when is. you find an old toy yes that, 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 with its box and rare, everything else rare, it's so rare it? okay so what's that money's that worth that one that's 850 i think you know for a, for a, a mechanical full yeah. set of amiga so uh, yeah, it's a good price and investment wise how, how have they done in the last few years yeah very well very well you know it's um the market is is booming at the moment yeah. so you know, it's not it's not a bad investment at all. No, and especially especially through lockdown, the you know the demand we saw was just well, it went through the roof, didn't incredible. it? Incredible. It so, did, yeah. Yeah. So we, we tried to offer you know good quality pieces at a fair price, really. Yeah. And okay. Show me your, your your second favorite item. What have you got? Well, I would like to. Obviously, we love you know Hoyer. We're known for Hoyer stuff as well. well so are, just yeah. nice little nice little Hoyer timer. There. Okay. So a Hoyer timer. Sort of, Tell me about the timer. Well, it's just a Hoyer mechanical timer, obviously used to uh, time all sorts of sports, but famous for, for motor racing. Um, it's still got sort of a bit of a, pro, you know, a bit of a sticker on the back. There? What is that sticker? It's just a, like the original Hoyer sticker there, so it's been well used and well worn, but it's a nice little, nice little keepsake, isn't it? It's still running well. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I mean, there, there you have it. Just there the is the, bra the yeah. logo is just, that's it. it. It is class, isn't Pre -tug. it? Now, when, when did TAG take over Hoya, roughly? Um, 80s. 80s, the OK. 80s, yeah. So, top tip for those watching at home, then, a bit of a, a take-home tip is anything with Hoya in is pre-1980s. Yes, yes. Right. And, and is that more valuable because of that? Um, it's very collectible, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, at the moment, the Hoya, well, in the past, uh, up to the present, the Hoya market's been extremely, um, extremely good. So, yeah. 
Um, and you, know, you can just see <laughs> prices online. They've gone from strength to strength. Yeah. So. And and what what year would you say that higher was? That sort of sixties. 60s, 60s to 70s. And what sort of money? Range. That's 150 pounds. Oh, that's no money. It's for, is it? It's for a mechanical. Yeah. But who, who's going to buy that? Is it a collector's piece or would somebody actually buy it to use it? A bit of both, really. Yeah, yeah still. Yeah. 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 Brilliant. And that you've, I think you've already sold, haven't you? You've only been in a couple of days. Yeah, I've just sold Amiga already this week. I mean, Harrogate is a very good market. You get visitors from all over the world here, don't you? Yeah, it's a busy little, uh, well, it's a busy, busy centre. It is a busy centre. You see everyone chatting away in the background. It's very social. You're not used to this guy. You've yeah. been dealing with Joe no. Public for years. No, I know, I know. It's good to be back. <laughs> well, it's good to see you, and you as it always is. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. See you soon. Take care. And this is the building you're looking for when you find yourself in glorious, sunny Harrogate. It's not always sunny, but it's always glorious.